Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 54. And if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 6, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're starting on the sheet 6.3 and 6.4 deductions. These are the sections in the textbook. Deductions, those are subtractions from our gross pay to get net pay. So for example, the employer is required to calculate federal income tax. The idea behind federal income tax is that you have to pay as you go. So every paycheck you have to pay a little bit. So by the end of the year, you have approximately paid all of your federal income taxes. If you pay too much, you get a refund. If you pay too little, you owe. State income tax, FICA, Social Security, and Medicare. Those are deductions, again, the employer is required to calculate them and submit them to the federal government. Social Security is for uh, when you retire. Medicare is for uh, medical assistance for 65 and older. There's all sorts of other deductions, purchase of US um, savings bonds, union dues, insurance deductions, charitable contributions, pension contributions, all sorts of things. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about Social Security and Medicare. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, federal income taxes. Now, let's go over to the sheet gross and net, gross pay. And then you have some taxes. You have to add up all of the taxes. And then the net pay is gross pay minus total deductions. Really, it should be the reverse, right? This should be, ew, gross. That's the gross pay because they took out all the deductions. All right, so this in uh, the next couple of videos, we're just going to talk about calculating some deductions. Let's go over to the sheet Social Security. All right, so Social Security. FICA, Federal Insurance Contribution Act. Um, these are deductions from the employee's paycheck. Now, check this out. There's Social Security and Medicare. Uh, Social Security, federal taxes levied on both the employees and the employers. So if you didn't know this, when you get a deduction on your paycheck that's going to Social Security. So they, they take it out of your paycheck. The employer takes it and sends it to federal government. And that accumulates over time. And hopefully, the federal government will uh, be able to pay those by the time we retire, right? But Social Security, that's the idea. They, the employer takes it from your paycheck, sends it off to the federal government. The federal government will give that to you when you retire. But here's the deal. If they were, if they deduct ten dollars from your paycheck the employer has to match it so for every ten dollars you send to the federal government the employer has to match it so when ten dollars is deducted from your paycheck the employee twenty dollars shows up in the federal uh, account all right um, pension again social security is for when you retire pension payments after worker has reached 62 years or later now there's a whole bunch of calculations you could do to figure out when your retirement age is you can click there and read about it but for us we're just going to do the calculating part of it uh, social security is also for disability benefits for disabled workers and dependents when we calculate social security we take 6.2%, and that's not correct. That's an older number there. Now, actually, this is the correct amount. The That right currently, I'm shooting this in 2011, that's the current number. But this just changes. And in the textbook, they have a little chart of how it's changed throughout history. The textbook uses $110,000. And so in my examples, I'll use that. But that changes throughout time. Now, what does that mean? That means if you make. Uh, over 168,000, or in our textbooks, 110,000. Anything above 110,000 is not taxed, and we'll see an example of how that works. Now, most of us mere mortals, especially teachers and whatnot, would never make that much, so we never have to worry about what's called the maximum earnings or the ceiling. Now, Medicare, those are federal taxes levied on employers employees and employers. Again, if you have a deduction for Medicare, the employer has to match it and send it off. Proceeds used for medical insurance eligible for eligible people over 65 years old. Medicare is just a straight 1.45%. There is no maximum taxable earnings. So if you make a million bucks, 
it's just always that amount times whatever your adjusted gross is. All right, self-employed people. Now, think about this. You are self-employed. Are you the employee? Yes. Are you the employer? Yes. So you have to pay double. It's because you're the employee and the employers. Law says you have to have both, right? So your rate, if you're self-employed, is double. Now, I certainly remember a self, being a self-employed pe person, and at the end of the year, calculating that number was sometimes painful. <laughs> Now we're going to see how to calculate this. Let's go over to FICA Calc Sheet. Our first example, total gross pay for this year so far. So if you're working in payroll, you have to keep a running total of all of the, the pay so far. Because for Social Security, as soon as you get over this, you no longer have a tax deducted from your paycheck. Now this person so far has 32,890. The current paycheck is 958. So when we add these alt equals, this number is not even close to getting over this, right? Total gross pay for this year after this week's check. All right. So when we come down, we don't have to worry about the ceiling. It just means, oh, bummer, we're going to have to use the 6.2% for Social Security and the 1.45% for Medicare. But you always want to ask the question, how much is tax for Social Security? Well, we already answered the question. Um, this is not even close to the maximum. So our taxable earnings for Social Security is the entire paycheck. How much is taxed for Medicare? It's always going to be the whatever the current paycheck is. All right, now let's go ahead and we're multiplying uh, decimals here. So we're going to use round. And I'm going to take 6.2% times this taxable amount for Social Security. Now, again, for most of us mere mortals, uh, these numbers are always the same, right? We're never getting close to that 110 comma 2 because we're rounding to the penny. Now, notice that the way we set up this spreadsheet, the blue one is 1, 2, 3, 4 above, and the green one is 1, 2 above. So when I enter and copy this formula down, the green box moved down to taxable earnings for Medicare, and the blue box will move down to Medicare rate. So this one's a pretty easy one. Okay, so we got the 1.45 and the taxable amount for Medicare. Now let's look at our second example. And so we have 109,500 bucks. Yeah, I'd love to make that, right? And the current paycheck for the week is 4,000. Man, someone's making bank here. All right, so total uh, for the after this week's paycheck. This is the total before. Now notice it is under. But let's add up and see what they have after this paycheck. Alt equals. They jumped over the hurdle this paycheck. And that's the key. It's only um, the, the, this calculation straight earnings is always going to be the case except for that one paycheck where you were below the hurdle before this paycheck and you're above after this paycheck. I want to go over to the side and look because we got to figure out how much is taxed of our Social Security. It's because we jumped over the hurdle uh, that we have to do this. Now we're going to use our pictures just like we did in Chapter 3, right? Before this paycheck, how much was our accumulated total for the year, meaning all of the gross pay so far this year, before this week. All right, so I'm going to say equals that. Enter. Next, we want to ask what's the max. That means the maximum amount of earnings that are taxed. So right here, I'm going to say equals that. Now we have a visual. And the visual is this. Oh, well, actually, let's figure out our after this paycheck how much do we have equals 13,000, right? So we were here before, and during this pay period, we went over the maximum amount. Now let's look at this picture. 
If we started here and we went up to right here, how much is taxed? Well, distance-wise, you can see I'm filling up a tank. I'm going up, 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 up. And as soon as I hit the top of this, anything above is not taxed. So the calculation is going to be always for this one paycheck where you jump over, it's always going to be the actual Social Security maximum minus the previous uh, accumulated balance. So let's go over here. How much for Social Security? It's always going to be for the one paycheck where you have to do this. The actual maximum amount you're tax you can be taxed on minus the total gross this year so far. All right, so only 500. Now, we could see this in a, with our eye, uh, 109,500 compared to this, it's only 500. But knowing that, that it's visually, it's always going to be the max minus the previous cumulative total, boom, that's the formula. All right, how much is tax for Medicare? Always the full amount. All right, so the Social Security deduction and the Medicare de deduction, it's all, we're going to use the round function. We're multiplying now. This is Social Security, so I'm going to say that amount, that's the taxable amount for Social Security times the 6.2%, comma 2, rounding to the penny, control enter. Now I'm going to copy that down because those are relative cell references. It's looking at the right tax rate, and it's looking at the right taxable amount. All right, now let's do one more example. Oh, here's the, the, lucky, uh, the lucky person. 115,000, right? So they're already before this paycheck. Total gross uh, this year so far, they're already way above the hurdle, right? So let's still add it up. And actually, if you worked in payroll, you always have to keep a running balance. So there's 16,000. But here's the deal. When we come down how much for this, we already look at the beginning number. It's already way above the actual Social Security maximum. So the answer is zero. How much is it's just zero? How much tax for Medicare? Yep, always just the full paycheck. All right, so now all I have to do is type a zero there. And our calculation is equals round. This is for Medicare. The taxable earnings times our tax rate, 1.45 percent, comma two. 1523. All right, now what about the self-employed person? Oh yeah, this is the bummer. Just got to double them. So this is the adjusted earnings for the year, 68,500. So Social Security rate, it's just double. You're the employee, and I'm going to say times two because there's an employee and an employer. You're both, so times two. That is a relative cell reference, so control enter and copy it down one. All right, so Social Security equals and we don't have to worry about the hurdle here because this is the whole amount for the year and it's all under. So both taxes will get that same number. Round. I'm going to click that. F4 to lock it. Times, I'm, I'm calculating Social Security. Social Security tax rate. Notice when I copy it down, it'll move to that one. Comma 2. And drag it down. Ooh, that's a bummer. So we got that one. That's a lot of taxes. I definitely remember having to calculate these running a boomerang manufacturing business a few years. There uh, was a lot of Medicare and Social Security. All right, so one more example in this is all section 6.3. So I'm going to come over to disability deduction. Now, each state has a different rate. And again, this is one of many possible deductions from your paycheck, SDI, State Disability Insurance. Now, this is just a typical rate, 1%. And there are ceilings to consider also. So for this example, we're going to say 1% is the SDI rate. And the hurdle, or the maximum earning subject to tax, 31800 all right, so total 
gross pay. So we have, here's gross pay for this year so far, right? 31,000. Let's calculate the gross pay after this week's check. Alt equals. Okay, so it looks like what happened. We were below it, and now we're above it. So this is that one situation where the taxable amount, well, what's the difference? Just look here, right? Here's the maximum. Here's the amount before. So it's equals, just as in a couple examples ago, the maximum that you can be taxed minus before this paycheck, what your total accumulated was so far this year. 800 bucks. All right, so now, and we could do that in our head, right? But there you go, there's the formula. It's always going to be the, the max or ceiling minus the accumulated amount before this paycheck. And then we'll use our round. We're multiplying decimals, multiplying or dividing decimals. You're always going to use the round function. There it is, 1%, comma, 2, close parentheses. And so that's an example of a state disability insurance calculation. Eight bucks, right? 1% of 800. All right, uh, that's section 6.3. I don't have a, it should say end section 6.3 here. Right, and it should have red or something like that. In our next video, next section, we'll talk about federal income tax deductions. All right, see you next video.